Okay, this is best uses of zucchini. Today we're making chocolate zucchini cake. Um, originally this was a chocolate applesauce cake that I've adapted. So we've got in here three cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of sugar, three teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, one and a half cubes of melted butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, two and a half cups of pureed zucchini. You can add a, a cup of crushed nuts to this if you want to. I've also got four tablespoons of cocoa. I do heaping tablespoons because I like a lot of chocolate. And we've also got um, one cup of raisins soaked in hot water to make them plump. So your oven needs to be 350 or 375. This is going to take about probably 30, 35 minutes um, until your toothpick comes out clean. This is a, it's kind of nice because this is no milk, no eggs. It does have butter, but I mean, like, you can make this with limited ingredients at home is my point. So you can't even see the zucchini in here. Not very well. See, there's a little piece right there. Um, you could add a little bit of applesauce anyway, even though this is no longer an applesauce cake when we're, you know, <laughs> adjusting it. <laughs> See, I'm doing these in loaf pans, but you can also, this is going to make two loaf pans of cake. You can also just put it in a cake pan. And um, I overcooked mine just a little bit. And I forgot to flour my first pan, but uh, this is what it came out looking like. And it's pretty tasty. So, I think this one's going to be a hit. Chocolate zucchini cake. <laughs>